Go to the set of questions for the Alkenes and Edition Polymers playlist. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay, so make a start. So you'll notice I've written up they've both got the molecular formula C10H20. So A is going to be the right answer. They've got the same empirical formula. So just for revision purposes, we'll rule the other three out. So different relative molecular masses. No, because they've, they've both got the same molecular formula. They are structural isomers. No, they're not. They're just flipped round. And they've got different functional groups. No, they haven't. They've both got the alkene functional group. So A was the answer. Moving on to the next question. So they've been quite nice in the way they've drawn this. It's got an ethene-like structure. So all we need to do is break the pi bond, put some end bonds on. So there's the answer there. You can put brackets around if you want, and if you have, they need to look like that. And for the reaction with HBr, I've started the structures off. Just remember, HBr can add either way around. So we can have an H there, Br there, or Br there, H there. Moving on to the mechanism, first thing I'm going to do with the bromine molecules, put the dipole on, so it's delta plus closest to the double bond. And it would take a pair of electrons from the double bond to the delta positive bromine. Then we need to break that bond by heterolytic fission. So that's going to give us those there. So I've put the bromine on the first carbon, which means there's a positive charge on the other carbon. You could do it the other way around if you wanted. This bromine becomes a Br minus ion. All we need to do is take a pair of electrons from the lone pair on the Br- ion and form a bond with the carbon with the positive charge, which gives that for the product. Moving on to the next question about the alkyne. So what's meant by the term homologous series? Just a memory test of definitions, I'm afraid. Compounds with the same functional group, each successive member differs by CH2. General formula of the alkynes is going to be CnH2n minus 2. And for the next part, we're told propyne reacts with bromine to form a saturated compound. So in other words, this triple bond is going to become a single bond. So we've got space around here for four BRs. So obviously it's going to react with two moles of Br2. And it's going to give us that as the product. Next part, so there's the structure of but one ion. So another two structural isomers with this C4H6 formula. So first one we can do is just push the triple bond to carbon 2. So that will be but2ine. So there's the structure for that. Now the only other options we've got now is we need to create a ring and put a double bond in it. So we could go for cyclobutene. We could go for a cyclopropene with a methyl group there. Or we could put the methyl group on the carbon with the double bond. And for the final part of the question, so I've got the beginnings of the structure here just to show that hept 3 ion needs seven carbons and the triple bond goes between carbons three and four. We also need two methyl groups, first one on carbon two and the next one on carbon five. And now all we need to do is put hydrogens where all the rest of the bonds are. So there's the answer there.